1859. The English natural historian Charles Darwin put forward a theory, the theory of evolution. According to the imaginary scenario of evolution, lifeless matter supposedly came together by chance in such a way as to give rise to the first living cell. Of course, there was no scientific basis to Darwin's claims. Evolutionists took advantage of the primitive level of technology in the past to deceive the public for decades. It is as if they had cast a spell over them. However, scientific advances eventually stripped Darwinists' masks away. All the relevant branches of science revealed countless pieces of evidence refuting the theory of evolution. Two thousand seven. The Atlas of Creation permitted the people of Europe to see the facts for the first time because the Atlas laid out a reality, the fossil record, which annihilated all the claims of the theory of evolution. Not only is this giant book, consisting of the highest quality photographic illustrations, convincing and impressive in appearance, it also has attracted considerable attention because of the proofs of God's sublime creation and the scientific information refuting the theory of evolution that it contains. Two thousand eight. Reports of the collapse of Darwinism are pouring in from all over the world. Public opinion polls in 34 major countries show that belief in creation is snowballing and that the theory of evolution is on its last legs. In addition, many scientists are turning towards God and saying that all of life was created. The numbers of the proponents of evolution are declining day by day. The people of Europe are turning to God in waves. Say, truth has come and falsehood has vanished. Falsehood is always bound to vanish. Shortly after the Atlas of Creation had been published in Turkish and English, the French language edition appeared and evoked a considerable response in France. Although it is now more than a year since the Atlas arrived in France, evolutionists have still not recovered from the shock it caused. The number of people in France who believe in the fact of creation is increasing by the day. Having seen the truth, the French public now entered into the real enlightenment, thanks to the Atlas of Creation. There now follows a selection of reports showing the psychological collapse that Harun Yahya's Atlas of Creation has inflicted on Darwinists.
The December 2007 edition of the well-known French magazine, Science et Vie, devoted nine pages to Harun Yahya's Atlas of Creation and its impact on the world, particularly France. The comments in the magazine regarding the Atlas, from a confirmed evolutionist publication, clearly revealed the defeat of the theory of evolution and the traumatic psychological effect this has had on evolutionists. An atlas sent to all schools in 2007 and that refutes the theory of evolution came just like a cold shower. The arrival of the Atlas of Creation literally had a shock impact in France, which had for decades been subjected to Darwinist and materialist indoctrination. The term, like a cold shower, in the report is one sign of this shattering impact. Dominique Rojant, a SVT inspector of national education, says, this is the first major Muslim-based action in this area. This means that creationism has influenced all religious beliefs with a considerable success. In these words, materialist circles, stunned by the scale of their sudden defeat, have once again been forced to admit the superiority of the Atlas of Creation in the intellectual struggle taking place. The way that European students exposed to a Darwinist education have now seen the invalidity of the theory of evolution has come as a surprise to the proponents of materialist philosophy. Adeline Lecaux, professor of life sciences and earth at one Paris high school, sets out her thoughts on the subject. Opposition is much sharper than before. I have five convinced opponents of evolution in my class. Some are excellent students. They back their replies up in a much bolder manner, referring to the arguments of Harun Yahya, which they found on the internet. According to Ani Mamissier, Ministry of Education Inspector General and a senior of Life Sciences and Earth Department, some situations sometimes arise in which high school students write the answers to exam questions about the theory of evolution in the way they have been taught at the school, but also write that they do not agree with the theory of evolution.